way to run lipid match is to run it through CSV parameters that are already set. So for example, if we go to the lipid match folder, you can now see that there's lipid match parameters. You can use these for the pop-ups as well if you do the pop-up method of running lipid match. So if we double click on one of the CSV parameter files, we can we'll click here and see all the choices which are described in the previous tutorial. And the only difference here is instead of selecting which folder is to run for lipid match and which uh, folder contains the libraries and to select libraries, we actually have to change those manually here. So for example, on a Windows computer, if we wanted to select the libraries, we double click, click down here, and that would give us the directory, press Control C, Control C, and then we can press Control V here, and that will give us the directory of the libraries. Note that in R you need forward slashes, so we'd also have to go Control F, backslash, replace with forward slash. So that would set our directories. Also, as before, you have to change in your feature table where your row IDs are, what column your mass of charge is, the column your retention time is, and the row your numeric data starts in. Once you've completed your lipid match parameters, you can close it and save it. And you might want to save it in your file so you don't overwrite old parameters. It's up to you. And so then once it's saved, you now go into the R code. And before you make any changes, I would save it as some other name. So in this case, let's put CSV. So now that you've saved as a different name the R script, you'll scroll down and you'll find a CSV input option. And so we'll change that from false to true. And it should turn orange if you've spelled it correctly in the correct case. And then you scroll further down and you see where it says parameters direct, DIR, and parameters file. And so you want to change those to the correct parameters. So again, for Windows, this would be where the parameter files are, so we can control C. And now we can change the directories, control V. Make sure again that you replace with forward slash. And also that it's only those in the selection, because there are other backward slashes that you wouldn't want to change. Press OK. And then you also want to put the name of the directory of the CSV file. So in this case, we're doing thermo. Press Control C. Control V. And then you can just press Control A and click Run, and it will run. And you'll get outputs in the output directory as defined in your parameters file.